Welcome to Saturday Nerd Night. Our guide to games on Pod Peace on Demand. Disclaimer, this is our opinion only. We mean no offense. We are also not sponsored. Hello, welcome to our podcast. I'm Joshua. I'm Marta. I'm Jake. And I'm Ethan. And today we're going to be discussing the topic of online gaming. Now, for, for those of you who don't know what online gaming is, it's basically playing a game on something like Nintendo, computer, Xbox, or PlayStation, which I'm sure most of you have heard of, and then playing on a wide range. So, Marty e could be in America, Jake could be in Asia, and Ethan could be in Africa. If we're playing an online game, we're able to play with each other on a server, which is where all information is kept. Now, my personal opinion is the game's amazing. I've had these since I was young. Like, I was born into these things. I had these for years with the original Xbox 360, and then just kept going on and on. And usually it's like an escape from reality, mm. unless you maybe just gets angry, but that's not the point of this. But Jake, what about you? What do you think about them? I'm, I'm completely with you there. They're amazing. I've been with them all my life. First console was PS3. Haven't actually played online games until ne- nearly last November, whenever I, get to, whenever I got my dad's Xbox One. A little theft right there. <laughs> <laughs> what are you eating? Um, unlike used to, I think that they're mediocre at best because, although yes, as you two said, you are able to connect with anyone in the whole world, but for all you know, the 42-year-old Chuck, who lives in the... the old 42-year-old Chuck. Oh, don't remember McDonald's, Mom. I remember McDonald's. But all that is correct. You're probably safer online than you are in real life, because unless I give them my name... All they know, my name could be Mr. Potato123. That could be my name. And unless I tell them my real name, that's what they know me as. But me and some random man in real life, I can't exactly say, I am Mr. Potato123. Because you can't go, no, you're not. <laughs> no, 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 no. But yeah, I do see where you're coming from. Yeah, I see where you're coming from. What about you, Marty? What do you think? I like online games. Because I have no friends in real life. <laughs> and I can just talk to random people online. Uh, yeah. Online. You're basically the opposite. I mean, I just and don't as, like talking to people. As long as they aren't annoying, then I'm fine. So you wouldn't like me on games then? <laughs> no. So you wouldn't <laughs> like me either. From what I'm hearing now, you know. <laughs> me sitting there getting angry at you. <laughs> to the left. To the left. <laughs> turn left. <laughs> turn left. <laughs> turn the car. Game. Don't wow. crash into the tree. Well, but everyone else's opinions are crazy. Half the internet's like, yeah. some of them are like, you're anti-social, you don't leave your house, you chuck. When <laughs> half of us, most of us here you're aren't. Chuck. Yeah. I don't leave my house very often by choice. I go Not to school. There. Yeah, same oh. here. <laughs> yeah. yeah. School. Actually, yeah. I leave my house some very rarely, but sometimes, so it's something. <laughs> but we're all vampires. <laughs> but yeah, um, I know for a fact, some people believe in anti-social behavior, and Jake, would you like to expand on that? Anti-social behavior is just like, is basically sitting in your room and playing and just doing nothing to socialize with anybody, even your mother or father, even your brother, <laughs> who gets left in the top bunk. <laughs> <laughs> Take the top bunk out on the bottom. <laughs> oh, but yeah, anti-social behavior. Like people really give like GTA just brainwashes. Say like, so I steal car in GTA. <laughs> well, some people think I'm gonna go steal a car in real life because I can do it in the game. I think I can do it in real life, which isn't really the case. I'd probably get destroyed yeah. by. And you know people. what? There, there is. Even a crime called Grand Theft Auto, <laughs> which Whoa. is what the game's about. So smart. Well, but you, what do you think about this topic of antisocial behavior from games? Mario Kart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Treat each other as a run into each other at 100 miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Get out of the way. No. Yeah, that's, that's the reason kids are still in parents' cars. Because <laughs> Mario, Mario, Mario Kart. Mario Kart. Like I'm the walking, av- I'm a walking advertisement. And they're just doing a head, a head of jack at the intersection of yeah. in America. Mm. That seems to be what happens all the time. Some mm. kids just driving around the room like, Hey, I'm Mario. Oh, Alright, as long as you say your favourite game, mine has to be Doom, hands down. If you don't like blood or if you're not into quick paced games, I would not suggest it. It's a ridiculously fast game with amazing kills in the game. I love yeah. it. Um, my favourite game, well, games, would be The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim and The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Although they are not online games, I love them. They're so open world. You can do anything, anytime, as long as you have, as long as you have all you need. It's awesome. Including I would, Spider-Man. I would recommend it to you. Just, I wouldn't if you don't like violence, though. Jimmy Cart. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Jimmy is in That's the wrong Zelda game. game. Up, up, That's the wrong Zelda down, game. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, A, B. Kind of those lights. 
And what about you, Ethan? What, do you, what game would you say is your favourite? Well, I have a lot of favourite games, uh, so I'll just say a game system. A Nintendo Switch. But if you really, really want my favourite game of all time, it's got to be Xenomirror Chronicles 2. It may, it's a game you have not heard of, most definitely. But I have poured my life and soul into it. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I've been... I played it for over 500 hours. I am wasting my life. <laughs> oh, that's me with some other games. I, like I would, I would recommend, games. I would recommend the game for someone who like acts, who likes open world JRPGs or JRPGs are basically role playing games, but they're Japanese. I know they're Japanese role playing games. Let's just say that. How about you, Mario? What do you say your favorite game is? Super Mario. <laughs> you like the big old I like the things. ocean. <laughs> it's my life. Yeah. It's good graphics. And the, the storyline is extremely detailed and it's got a lot of. Just, story in it? <laughs> yeah. Very long story. It's hard to find everything, so it's annoying. I haven't even finished it yet. It's in there for hours. There's that one it's piece of it. <gasps> Mostly because I got it on sale. Favorite game. <laughs> yeah, it's the only game you can buy with your actual money, so yes. that's my new favorite was one. It hard, no seal. Yeah, why wouldn't you? Would you recommend that game to people though? Yeah, if, if you don't yeah. like water, then no. <laughs> <laughs> if, if you're aquaphobic, then no, don't no, go for that one. No, 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 no. Under the sea. Under the sea. Oh yeah, but I would probably recommend doing this to anyone who's into like fast games because. I find some of the kills in that thing amazing. Some people say it's gruesome. I think it's hilarious. It's flattened into people. What about you? Well, I would recommend I would recommend Zimmer Chronicles 2 to anyone who likes just freely walking around everywhere, killing things and and leveling up. And also people who like to do collectathons because the weapons you get like a whole lot of them. You get a whole lot of them. I mean, right. So, about where we've been. We've been here at Cornmeela for the past two days. The first day was about meeting each other, icebreakers. That's because we're all from different schools. Well, three of us are from <laughs> one school. I'm, I'm <laughs> the foreigner of the <laughs> Hell yeah. He, he's the foreigner from a different school. I'm the foreigner from a different country, so. <laughs> <laughs> and we're twins, it's fine. so we're technically foreigners. Yeah, we're all different here. Oh, we've got twins, English, and. <laughs> just <laughs> me and Mr. St. <laughs> Pius's. You're just you. Oh, but yeah, it's, it's been great here. We've met new yeah. people. The food's As nice. is obvious by the person over here. <laughs> the beautiful man you see before you. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's been great fun. What about you, Dick? You, you have some fun? It's, it's beautiful. It's just beautiful. And it's also been really good fun. Mostly because of Josh and him. <laughs> <laughs> I made fun. There's a lot of seawater. <laughs> yeah, seawater is I good for can't me. Can't go near it, but I enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> you can't go near the water, but you can see it from a distance. Yeah. Oh, but yeah, the scenery is nice. The people yeah. are nice. Like you can talk to people who are already like they're just best friends. They're yes. all dead on. They're all nice. They're all friendly. You gotta one. get them all raised. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they probably would be nice to us and already might get fired though. <laughs> <You know? laughs> And I know a few of them, like, one of them likes anime, so yeah, I'm not by myself yeah, in that one. <laughs> Wait, no, you still have, like, Jake, yeah. James, yeah. <laughs> oh. people from the school. You know, most people think I'm, like, one of the silly <laughs> shows. <laughs> oh, yeah. Nah. Oh, we are sometimes. Yeah. The next question of my life. <laughs> <laughs> the story of my life, I don't leave my room. The story of all our lives. <laughs> I will yeah. binge watch anime and play games. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'd ask your mum to get McDonald's for you. Mom, where's my McDonald's cheeseburger? Oh. Some of my guys bullying me in my Minecraft server. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Oh. Uh, hey, so what do you think about the entire topic overall? You know what? I love VOD. It's very fun. You gotta meet new people. You can make new friends. It doesn't even matter who you hang out with. It's just if they have the same thing that they like, you can probably get along. Yeah, you pretty much just fit in now. Yeah. yeah. It's, very, it's very often the other two times. Someone before. fits in with someone, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> like a jigsaw piece when you get like a bunch it's of like jigsaw pieces. Yes, but then there's a bunch of jigsaw pieces just missing. Amazing. Oh, yeah. Oh, but we're, we're running out of time now, yeah. aren't we? Yeah, yeah, I think we are. But you should be time. <laughs> well, oh. thanks for watching, and please comment below, like the video, and subscribe to the channel, and please check the other videos out.
with all our friends in them. I yes. Because they're going to be talking about this probably in a lot more detail than we are, guys. We're all no, a lot of detail. Yeah. So yeah. We're all a lot of detail. See you next time. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs>